gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My As name's the Dan. Beer. Swirls. Oh, yeah. Snakes. And I'm like, Dan, <laughs> what's this uh, math problem we're about to drink here? Mike, we have a beer, courtesy of Conan the Barbarian <gasps> of the Lower Delaware East Side LBC. No. Ridgeopolis. Ridgeopolis. Uh, the good doctor Ridgeopolis. He's a made it happen. I said, bro, I've never had root and branch. He says, dude, I could totally hook you up. So that's what he did. I don't feel like he said that. I feel like he said, yo, D Money, I can hook you up. This is going to be yours. I'm going to send it all the way up to where you are. Mike, I don't want him to drink it. So I'm just going to sit here and watch Dan enjoy this beverage. And all right. You can tell me about it. Uh, so yeah, this is their Strangled. Pretty cool uh, snakes on a plane. Strangled. I want these motherfucking snakes. Oh, this plane. Uh, plane. This is a double India pale ale. <laughs> Saturate this video. Again. And <laughs> uh, what percent is this? Did I even say it? Oh, it's American percent. To go oh, along a, with the American. And so hops. it's a multi oat wheat double India pale ale brewed with American hops. Which and, one specifically, uh, Dan? It must say on there. <laughs> they brewed and packaged by Root and Branch Brewing, <laughs> uh, Copiog, it New York. I'm butchering that. I know I am. <laughs> um, probably some borough. I don't know. Uh, Canada on 27, 2024. So we did look this up. And it turns out there's different batches of the Sun Gun. So yeah. this one is actually. The batch number three from February 2024, and they take the base edition, which they don't divulge the hops, and then they dry hop it with Citra, oh, Comet, secret. and Comet, and Belma. Eight uh, percent ABV. So. Oh, okay. Well, there we go then. Let's hop into it. All right. I mean, the hop combination sounds. Like I'm super good. excited. I'm, I'm excited to drink. This, this is the first time I've got my hands on some root and branches, and. Uh, Ooh. I've heard good things, right? Yeah. Okay, poor. I don't know how these. We've never used these glasses. We haven't used these glasses. All right. I may have way too much. I may have way too little. I don't know. I think we're pretty good. The glasses are slightly different shape, but I think they're the same. I think so, too. There we go. I I feel like I got weight. No, no, no. No, you've been waiting for this beer. You've been waiting for it. Friendship, bro. Uh, dull orange juice. I mean, it's like orange pear juice. Super hazy. Very it, turbid, as they say. It looks nice. It looks nice. It looks soft. Nice. It looks nice. It well, looks a little nice. half a finger of foamy. <laughs> Saturate this video. What was it? Sante Darius? The snakes? Oh. Yeah, it was. It was the Sante Darius. Because it was like the Harry Potter beer with snakes. <laughs> I don't And, and basilisk. Like Vaguely. Basilisk. All that. All right. Vaguely. Dude, the head's kind of retaining. You know, it is. It is. Kind of film. I'm going to try and froth her up. That is a filthy, stanky orange. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah. So there, there's this kind of like, there's like a, but there's this like zing to it too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's like an <laughs> oniony, vegetal, like. These goddamn amateurs <laughs> zing. What kind of note is that? Zing. Let me see if I can dissect what zing in a beer is. <laughs> it's got that orange zing to it. No, it, it's got that dirty, earthy orange. And there is this kind of really nice, uh, mellow, like, honey sweetness thing going on. You can't smell mm -hmm. sweetness either, but hey, I do. I see colors. <laughs> That's what we do on this channel. <laughs> I'll tell you, it, it smells good. A little, little pineapple. Like a... Yeah, yeah. I was digging for something. I was like, there's some other fruit in there, but it's definitely pineapple. Dude, I love this glass because I can slip a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I'm enjoying this glassware. Oh. Open your mouth when you do it. I've smelled that before. That, like that. Um, yeah, I've smelled this before. Like that, that malt. There's like. Is that all the oats? The multi oats? It might thing? be. That's, yeah, that's the, the Quakers, as Ridge likes to say. Guess. All right, let's dive right, in. Let's dive in yet. Cheers. That's strange. Pillowy soft. Like it almost evaporates in your mouth, like before you swallow. That's it. what I said. It's like really oh. strange. Like it's there and then just, just right. It's, it's just, just gone. It just wafts <laughs> yeah, out of existence. Weird man. I'm, 
I'm, I don't know as I recall a mouthfeel like that. What's what's going on right here? Like, what's going on right there? Like, just let, just sit. Don't even sip anything for a minute. It's very pithy, rindy citrus. It's like if you just ate an orange mm -hmm. and never, like, drank anything afterwards and didn't, you know what I mean? And the only thing you did afterwards was maybe brush your teeth. There's a there's a lot of toothpaste orange juice. Yeah, so that's crazy. So as it wafts away, like, on the, the palate, just kind of water falls off the, you know, the palate. Like, that kind of thing just sticks around. It's, like, deep, just orange and pineapple and just, like, heavy citrus. But there is, like, a... It is super drying on the front of the palate. Like, it's all up in the top of your gums and everything. It's just very drying. Like like you said, when you're just sitting there, letting it dissect, it's just... I know we've used oh, it before, boy. but this is this is really... It's it's toothpaste. Yeah. And OJ. Yeah, yeah. It, it very much so. Mm. And that, my friend, equals zing. That's good. Uh, body, I think for 8%, it's kind of light. <sighs> okay, yeah. I, I think th definitely that cloud burst of a mouthfeel makes makes the the body feel lighter than it should be. I've, um, had, I've had... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a thin mouthfeel. I think Ridge would agree. It's a bit of a thinner mouthfeel mm -hmm. compared to like some 8% hot butchers and stuff like oh that. yeah yeah i mean but, but i don't know like the way this beer is it's very drinkable it's very drinkable and it's very pleasant like i don't know if i'd want it with a heftier mouthfeel yeah uh i like this this is very good yeah that's nice really nice uh i didn't even uh note it but there's a really nice kind of floral bitterness right on the back end don't you think yep i completely agree it's not like a dank pine mm -hmm. tree thing. It's more of a just floral. I think that that oniony vegetal nature that was on the aroma turned into like a floral bitterness on the back. Yeah, like a like dandelion or something. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. Boy, this thing evolves. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy beer. Yeah, dude, as it sitting here and kind of warming up, opening it up, it's very good. Yeah, very good. All right, um, what do you want? Do you want to rate it? Do you want to keep drinking it? I don't care what we do. Do you want to talk about it? You tell me. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give this my first root and branch, new beer on the channel, that automatically adds like five points from what I've heard. <laughs> um, so, so it's an eight and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> give it a it's freaking bugs. I'm, I'm getting rid of this plant. I know you are. It's the first thing that's going to happen. Um. Why is this so you want me to go for you want yeah. me to go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give it a four point two one. I think it's very delicious. Is the two one is the one because it's a new beer on the channel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll give it a four one one. Oh, I'm enjoying it a little more than you? Yeah. Well well, is it the body? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'm okay with the body. I'd like, like the body it. just to be a dial it up a little bit. Okay. I think the The taste is spot on. The the one thing that, that holds me is that super dryness on the front mm. where it's just like I think my teeth are gonna fall out my gums won't be able to hold them in anymore it's still this is a fantastic beer uh, really good excuse me well you've dove in root plus branch in the books in the books all right also in the books down in the description hopefully this color is okay I look white again on camera I don't know. I'll let you finish we'll it figure it out Okay. All right, gang. Uh, down in the description below. Got all the links, stuff like that. Link tree. Branch out as you're <laughs> sipping on the root and branch. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Zing!